Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week, we connect you to the best of Delmarva. If the cold, dark days of winter are getting you down, be grateful you weren't living on Delmarva in the 19th century. You wouldn't have been able to turn on a light, call a friend, or turn up the thermostat. Marilyn Burkle takes a look at what life was like back then for the woman who lived in one of the Eastern Shore's most celebrated homes. In 1801, as the United States was coming of age, a young couple moved to the town of Princess Anne in Somerset County. Littleton Dennis Teekle had been appointed the postmaster. He and his wife Elizabeth came from wealthy families on Virginia's eastern shore. They were important members of their new community. He became a prominent merchant and later a member of the Maryland legislature. We know a lot about Mr. Teekle and his wife, partly because of the home they built. We call it the Teekle Mansion. They called it Teekletonia. It's a massive, 10,000-square-foot, neoclassical brick home listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It's been preserved and restored by the Somerset County Historical Society and Friends of Teekle Mansion. Sally Ridgway is a board member of the Historical Society. She dresses in period costume and plays the role of Elizabeth Teekle when schoolchildren tour the house. She's done her homework reading the family's correspondence, donated to the University of Virginia by Elizabeth's grandson. It's a rich description of the life Mrs. Teekle led. At one time, they actually did have, uh, I believe it was 23 servants, slaves. Mrs. Teekle had to rely heavily on those uh, servants and slaves that knew about running a plantation because when she came here, she was just a young girl. And she really had no idea how to run a plantation or how to even care for an infant. Running a household like this was a busy time. I mean, the first thing in the morning, she would uh, get up and she would go and converse with the cook probably to uh, solidify what the menu would be for um, you know, the day. We think nothing of the ingredients we use in our household. You know, we have flour, we have sugar, we have all those things right at our fingertips. And that had to be something that was really calculated and kept an eye on because if you ran low on something, then you wanted to make sure you allowed yourself plenty of time to get those particular elements. Much of the responsibility for the property fell to Mrs. Teekle because her husband was rarely there. In addition to his local interests, he built a successful mercantile store across the bay in Baltimore. As a result, she often relied on her sister and brother-in-law back home in Virginia for advice. She consulted with her sister's husband numerous times because I'm sure getting a letter to him, even though it was difficult, it was not as impossible as maybe getting a letter to Mr. Teagle across the bay because you, once you have to cross water, uh, the conditions have to be good. And if there was a week of bad weather or something, then probably she knew there, it was impossible to get a message to him and then for him to reply back uh, to her. So, um, you know, her, her sister and her sister's husband were very dear to her. Even though the business interests and later legislative duties of Elizabeth's husband, Littleton, kept him away for long periods of time, there was still an opportunity for the upper class to socialize at Teekletonia. I think she enjoyed entertaining. She writes about this one party they had, and I think she invited about 80 people. And, of course, she didn't expect, I'm sure, 80 people to come, and I think most of everyone came. <laughs> so she, she writes about how, you know, that was a bit of a dilemma However, she said that, you know, people sang and they, the men told their stories and, um, and I'm sure they danced, maybe even did some dancing and that sort of thing. And um, everyone seemed to have a wonderful time. So um, I'm sure she enjoyed entertaining. She occupied her time alone productively. She had a daughter to care for. She enjoyed sewing and she especially loved her garden. She loved gardening. That was another passion of hers, was she loved gardening. She wrote about things she planted. So we have a number of, of letters that tell about exactly, I mean, geraniums, tulips. There is this big open space with these trees around the back of the property, and that's where you would promenade 
in, you know, in the cool of the day, especially, you know, in the warmer months, you would go and walk around those, under those trees, and you would look in to that open space, across that open space, to whatever plantings had been done. Each year, every fourth grader in Somerset County takes a field trip to Teakle Mansion for a local history lesson. They learn not only about the wealthy landowners, but also about the slaves who kept the plantation running. This past summer, for the first time, the first week in August, we actually did a a camp, which um, included kids going into fifth and sixth grades. And we had a wonderful, wonderful week together. It's their heritage. It's their house. And we're happy that we can, um, you know, have a chance to have them come and see their day-to-day living was very different from ours. And I think it's just good for us to to delve into that and find out what life really was like and and to appreciate what we have now. The mansion is open to visitors three afternoons a week, from the first weekend in April through the first weekend in December. The Somerset County Historical Society has posted some of Elizabeth Teekle's letters online. We have a link and some photos from inside the mansion on our website. Check it out at delmarvaalmanac.com slash history. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and underwriters, eatdrinkbyart.com, for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune.